CDGI-ROM TV. Move over CD-ROM, CBG, CDI, and CDTV. CDGDI-ROM TV does everything the others do and more. Besides accepting the formats mentioned above, CDGI-ROM TV also plays high-quality Laserdisc movies, sure to become popular any century now. 842 Buckazoids. Estimated delivery, summer 2735. Pocket Pal Portable Terminal. Say, is that a complete workstation in your pocket, or are you just glad to see me? Now you can carry the power of a dumb terminal around with you without even creasing your jumpsuit. Includes chiclet-style keyboard and dentine-style mouse. 3,406 buckazoids. I already have a Pocket Pal, don't I? Pocket Pal Connector. If you're a proud owner of our ever-popular Pocket Pal Portable Terminal, you have no doubt noticed that, without the proper connector, it is virtually useless. Fortunately, at this moment, our exclusive Pocket Pal connector is on sale for just 1,999 buckazoids. Get yours now before the price goes up even further. Okay, this is what I need to think. Oh, damn it. Which one do I need? Oh, dear. I need to look at my Pocket Pal. Okay, so I bought the wrong adapter, so I need to reload it, and unfortunately that's something you really can screw you up if you don't have, keep a lot of save games scope, so I need to come back after we find out the right adapter for that. It's you! What? That's stop. Walk, girl. Flut, strut that stuff. Good. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. You can't. So let's clean her out again. Okay. So now that we have that, let's go back and uh, get our regular clothes on as much. It's comfort as we... Oh, let's actually go have a talk to Monolith Burger. What can I do for you, doll? I'd like, uh... We're out of it! We're out of everything, including employees. Would you like to apply? No thanks, I'm loaded. I don't need your money. It's you. As you change your clothes, you think to yourself that even in drag, you still have incredible animal magnetism. Or is that just a lack of deodorant? Thanks for shopping, it's... No, I think we need to go... have some fun in the arcade while we wait for the sequel please to show up. Don't fall for the hurt so good trick again. This thing is, is there anything I need in the arcade? Gazing at the wastebasket, your impulse, nay, your very instinct, nay, the very fibers of your being, scream out for you to pick up that garbage. But you're too busy. Ah, yes, because Roger is a, uh... It tastes like... Janitor. Watching this fine youngster brings back fond memories of your youth. Little did you know that all those hours of playing blazing paddles were in preparation for being a space guy hero type. Touching anything in... Ah yes, Miss Astro Chicken. 
I used to just play this, pretending it was like the real game. Flying Squirrel. I think you can see Graham from uh, King's Quest on this, actually. Catchy music though. Boom, 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 boom. I think I'm gonna get more eggs if I eat the corn. Just be careful of those dogs. Gotcha. Stay frosty. No more eggs. Okay, uh, corn. Hey, hey, hey. So I think I have to play this once or twice more before the sequel please show up as memory serves. So let's just make this quick. As you look around the arcade, you see that some of your old favorites are still working. Monaco Princess Stunt Driven, Choke and Croak, Ghetto Blaster, and Dweeb Hunter. The air is filled with smoke, sweat, and ozone, reminding you of your favorite cologne, Night in Programming. Maybe after this one. There they are. It's one of Bohol's sequel policemen. Okay, now we 
have to evade them. I think we have to go to the Skaterama. Or maybe we can just go... No, no, don't go out, Roger, Roger. No, it didn't work. Smoking is bad for your health. So where's the skater arm? Ah, uh, that's right, the shop's closed and you don't need it anymore, so... Uh, Roger! Don't screw me up, alien guy! Alien guy! Don't! Alien guy, please! Why? Oh no, evade! Evade, Roger! Well, maybe it's worth it. It's gonna get them to follow me, then I can get back and steal their spaceship or their time ship. Let's go. Ah! Don't do this to me, elevators! Gotcha. Oh no, it hurts so good it's closed! Didn't buy the adapter! Maybe I have to come back and get that. Okay, now, using the code that we got from the book, plus the chewing gum, we can head to... Uh, it wasn't that one, it was this one. The powerful quad quark drives Rev to life. Time and space bend under the fibrillations of the time rip transfluxers. Your adrenaline and stomach reel with the hyperbolic hyperbole. And finally, finally! Scratching Memories race through your mind. You know you've seen this place in your distant past. The low-resolution features look exactly like a place you once visited called Ulentz Flats. The time part. Ah, yes, Space Quest 1. That was a great game. Although I didn't play this VGA version of it. I played the um, updated version that looks a lot like Space Quest 4 with the narrator and everything. It's pretty cool. This long-legged beauty stands silently, waiting for its jet-faced owner to return. It looks like it came from the planet of the warts, 
This ship must be the Plantar's deluxe model with authentic mosaic upholstery. As you check out the Sen bikes, you wonder what kind of cheese ball would own one. The you see two guys singing. It's the Blues Brothers. You see a man behind the bar serving drinks. You see a book of matches on the bar countertop. Ah, that's what I need. Your attempt to get the matches failed. Ah, there's a coat on the wall there. I think that's what you have to use. Well, looky here! If it ain't Mr. Look at me, I'm in VGA! What's the matter? Monochrome not good enough for you? What's this? 256 colors all for one little bitmap wimp? What a waste of VGA! <laughs> hey, Phyllis! I bet I can toss them all the way out from the bottom of the stairs! Bitch and ale! Honest time is use spaceships. Boy, that was close. Hey, how come their bikes can go through the force field? You, you talked smell. At the bottom of this excavation is a small craft almost totally buried in dirt. You remember barely making it back out when the engine died. Ah, oh, I remember that from Space Quest 1. That's so funny. You... Ah! Nice timing. reflexes! Life is pounded loose from your body by the impact of the sand bike. Now this is a pain that'll linger. All the Ben Gay in Florida won't relieve this stiffness. Yep. You pick up the book of matches. Hey! Aren't you the guy who broke my slot machine? You owe me some money! Well, I gotta run. My hog pod's double parked. Hey, it's been swell talking to you. You hear a high-pitched whine from the east. Boy, that was close. No, I need the code you uh, from the very start of the game. The powerful quad quark drives Rev to life. Time and space bend under the fibrillations of the time rip transfluxers. Your adrenaline and stomach reel with the hyperbolic hyperbole. And finally, finally. Uh-huh, there we go. 